Hello there. In this tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about how to save energy with the Alux Evo 11. As previously mentioned in our teaser, it is now possible to easily calculate the energy demand and the savings potential of a lighting system with daylight control. We have developed this calculation method over the last four years in cooperation with the Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics. Let us begin by opening a project. As you can see, this classroom has lots of windows, which means it's perfect for demonstrating how to save energy with the help of daylight. Let's switch back to the floor plan view. Okay, so step one is to place luminaires. For this tutorial, let's just go with the automatic arrangements for spaces. A bit of fine tuning is needed, but that will only take a moment. Okay, so what you immediately notice is that after placing the luminaires, the new energy tachometer has popped up here at the bottom. It already shows us approximately how much energy we could save in this room. So the Alux guesses that we will consume somewhere between 479 kilowatt hours per year and that we will have a savings potential of 288 kilowatt hours per year or a minimum energy consumption of 288 kilowatt hours per year which gives a savings potential of 191 kilowatt hours per year. All of that, of course, taking into account the current usage profile of this space and considering the times of use. As I mentioned before, this is only an estimated value. We can now measure that more precisely by switching to the energy demand tool. So this is the new tool. And all we need now for an exact evaluation of the energy saving potential is the placement of a sensor measuring point. As you can see, the point was automatically placed in this room. What else do we see in this tool? Here you again see an overview of the estimated values. And below that is a checklist. By clicking on details, you can again see the usage profile with the corresponding usage times. Here you can also find the target value on the working plane. Okay, so let's quickly go through the checklist. I have already placed the sensor measuring point. There have already been luminaires placed in this room. And the room also contains windows. So, in other words, all the conditions are in place for the assessment of the energy saving potential with the help of daylight. Let's start the calculation. This will only take a few seconds. What the calculation does for us now is actually calculate the daylight in this room at this point on an hourly basis throughout the year. As usual, we see the results here on the right side in the results monitor. So, we have an uncontrolled energy demand of 703 kilowatt hours per year and a controlled energy demand of 183 kilowatt hours per year. This results in a saving of 521 kilowatt hours. In addition, we see the values per square meter, the costs in euros, and the savings of CO2 in kilogram. We can also look at the results in detail. For this purpose, I open this section right here, which contains diagrams and some additional information. In this diagram at the top, we see the illumination by daylight throughout the year. That's this orange curve. And we see the energy demand for the days. This is shown here in blue. The spikes result from the fact that we have weekends. Before the calculation, I had only set a time of use from Monday to Friday. We can now check all the days of the year with the help of this slider. Let's look for example at the 9th of June. Then we see that on this day, we have an uncontrolled energy demand of 2.7 kilowatt hours and a controlled energy demand of 0.15 kilowatt hours. As we can see in the diagram below, this is simply due to the fact that we have more than sufficient luminance due to daylight starting at 8 a.m. And this level is maintained until 6 p.m. After 6 p.m. we have to switch on the artificial light and this condition lasts until 8 p.m. And that is the reason why we actually need quite little energy here on the 9th of June if we also use the daylight and optimize our system to use the daylight. The values in the results monitor are automatically displayed in the documentation. However, we can also select individual points in time that we might want to document for our client. To do that, I'll use this button here and you'll see that the selected time point is listed here on the left side. I could add more, but I'll leave it at that for now. I then switch to the documentation. And here we now see the results that we just saw in the results monitor and the associated planning data. In addition, we now also find here the day we have just selected the corresponding diagrams. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. See you very soon and have fun with dialogues.